Okay, so this is, uh, we're going to do uh, a little session on before and after the Bob Beck uh, blood electrifier. And so this was uh, before, this is a test before uh, the Bob Beck blood electrifier. And so uh, we see a couple of things coming up, but two, two, uh, 275 comes up really here at the bottom, um, and it says, uh, no, okay, so yeah, the green ones are a fungus, okay, so uh, it's, or a parasite, it looks like. Uh, uh, Rickettsia um, coming up 169. Uh, hyper oxygenation, oxygenated sodium ion, irons uh, for yeast. Also, uh, it's coming up parasite skin. This is limes. Uh, Spirochetes borella and then uh, chloro chloroquinine and I'm not sure what exactly that is Amoebic, amoeba is coming up high too and so we'll go into okay next we'll go into uh, directly into the funguses because what we got here at the top of the list looks like um, something involving yeast. Uh, also some chlamydia and some corn mold affecting the body at about 115. And let's see, uh, we'll go into worms and so it's suggesting a remedy for parasites. Um, also limes, it says limes for bacterial spirochete. Uh, uh, again, amoeba is coming up pretty high, and uh, giardia is coming up 111. And uh, tetania. Uh, no, it's a T tinea sig in atom worm. Um, and per per don donatitis gum disease. And so let's go into uh, bacteria. So it's showing some syphilis, uh, rheumatic pains, debility in the morning, and let's see, botulism. Uh, you. Flynn blue uh, bacteria, bacterial indices, immune modulation in chronic and subacute conditions. So I don't know. It looks like we got 20 things there in the in the bacteria. We got probably 
uh, you know, ten things, eight, ten things there in the worms. We got in the red, and we got about you know seven in the fungus. And so, what we're gonna let's go over here to biological war warfare, environmental toxins. Um, looks like botulism. Um, aerosol vaccinations, chemtrails, um, eastern equine encephalitis, uh, causes simultaneous blood and spine issues, Sudan virus causes bleeding, these are biological warfare issues and it looks like we've got about six of those coming up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to retest and that was an earlier test I took probably three weeks ago and so now we're going to uh, test again and uh, see what comes up and I've been doing the Bob Beck protocol uh, uh, the minimal end of the protocol, which is the blood electrifier. I just did the blood electrification uh, for about three minutes uh, just before starting this program. Uh, three to five minutes. And then also I've been drinking uh, colloidal silver uh, water uh, the last week or so, about a cup and this is all before the last test that I just showed you. So we'll uh, try and decipher uh, if the, any of the back stuff comes up uh, in improvement, uh, which is the colloidal silver and the uh, blood electrification. Uh, and so hopefully we'll we'll show some. Some differences there and so I wanted to play a little uh, of Bob Beck and uh, you can hear a little bit about some of the stuff that... Turn it up to where it's comfortable. Then we don't want to attract attention to the rest You pull your sleeve belt over the device and that three to four milliampers is going into the skin, eventually making its way through the seven layers of tissue into the blood and curing, pardon me, causing spontaneous remission of any virus, fungus, parasite, microbe, pathogen, germs, bacteria that has been tested to date by some of the biggest universities in the world.